Hello everyone, this is Shadow One Five Two Four Three, and welcome back to Undertale. Now, I managed to backtrack a bit, and with the money I had, I bought four more Star Phase and one. I mean, three more Star Phase, and I still have the Buttercup Guide and the Star Phase I had before. So that should be enough, because I made it to like the end of his life with only one HP. So if I, yeah, if I keep dodging. If I dodge better, I should be able to finish this game without much. Finish, finish him without ease. With ease. So. Alright, I'm doing good. Alright, I'm trying to talk if I can talk, but. I don't have anything to talk about, so most likely I'm gonna be fighting most of the time. Uh, I talk. Now, we hope that our frying pan is better enough to kill Asgore. We need. Damn it. Alright, keep the fight. Yes. He's doing way less damage before. I think he does two damage, two health each time he hits me. Around two health every time he hits me, anyways. Okay, play. Move, move, stop. His health is super low now. Low HP. how it is. I remember the day after my son died. The entire underground was devoid of hope. The future had once again been taken from us by humans. In a fit of anger, I declared war. I said that it would destroy any room that came here. I would use their soul to become godlike and free us from this terrible prison. Then I would destroy humanity and let monsters rule the surface in peace. Soon the people's hopes returned. My wife, however, became disgusted with my actions. She left this place never again to be seen. So she is Torio. Torio is his wife. She's free. I do not want power. I do not want to hurt anyone. I just want everyone to have hope. But I cannot take this any longer. I just want to see my wife. I just want to see my child. Please. Young one, this war has gone on long enough. You have the power. Take my soul and leave this cursed place. After everything I have done to you, to hurt you, you would rather stay down here and suffer than live happily on the surface? Human, I promise you. For as long as you remain here, my wife and I will take care of you as best as we can. We can sit in the living room telling stories, eating butterscotch pie. We could be like, like a family. Why don't we just... You haven't learned a thing. In this world, it's kill or be killed. He's gonna take the souls. Whoa, whoa, oh, God. 
I, I, I relaunched the game, and this is what I this is what I seen. One day, uh, Tori Owls is like, ooh. Okay. Flowey level 999. 9,999. Continue. I can walk around, but I don't see anything. Ooh. Flowey raised. Flowey. How are you to me, Flowey? Flowey, the flower. I owe, a, I owe you a huge thanks. You really did a number on that old fool. Without you, I never could have gotten past him. But now, with your help, He's dead, and I've got the human souls. Boy, I've been empty for so long. It feels great to have souls inside me again. Mm, I can feel them wriggling. Ah, you're feeling left out, aren't you? Well, that's just perfect. After all, I only have six souls. I still need one more before I become God. And then... With my newfound powers, monsters, humans, everyone, I'll show them all the real meaning of this world. Ooh, Flowey's. Yeah, I still hate Flowey. Flowey, I hate him worse. Oh, and forget about escaping with you to your old save file. It's gone forever. But don't worry, your old friend Flowey has worked out a replacement for you. I'll save over your own death so you can watch me tear you to blood pieces over and over and over. What? Do you really think you can stop me? <laughs> you really are an idiot. Transform. Uh, I don't not like the looks of that. Oh my god. What the hell is happening? Call for help. Nice. Oh. This is a monster straight out of Photoshop. I'm doing more damage than before. Give me the health. I didn't get, I didn't get to grab enough health. It wasn't fine for me. Mm -hmm. 
keep saving and loading the same file. Doka Magical. That's what he looks like. He looks like something straight out of Madoka Magical. Can I fight? I don't know what the hell is happening. Frying pan shooting out fire. For some goddamn reason, this makes sense. Please shoot out hell. Yes, please give me the help. I barely got any health from that one. Can I absorb the souls of my fallen fellow female? Thank you guys. Flowey's defense dropped to zero. The next attack. face up there. If, if he actually could... No, no. This can't be happening. You. You idiot. God of this world, and you, you're hopeless, hopeless and alone. Golly, that's right. Your worthless friends can't save you now. Call for help, I dare you. Cry into the darkness. Mommy, Daddy, somebody help. See what's good it does to you. You call for help. on Fly's face. But nobody came. Boy, what a shame. Nobody else. 
It's gonna see you to die. Is Toriel just gonna come out and wreck the hell out of him? What? How'd you... Well, I'll just... Load failed. Where are my powers? The souls? What are they doing? No! What? No! You can't do that! You are supposed to obey me! I think this is an epilepsy warning, I'm not sure. Stop! Stop it! Stop! <laughs> no matter how much I want to kill Flowey right now. I want to click on that fight button so hard. But I'm doing a pacifist run. So I have some mercy. Even though he doesn't deserve it. What are you doing? Do you really think I've learned anything from this? No. Spare me won't change anything. Killing me is the only way to end this. I'm not gonna succumb to you. If you let me live, I'll come back. I'll kill you. I'll kill everyone. I'll kill everyone you love. Why? Why are you being so nice to me? I can't understand. I can't understand. I just can't understand. Flowey ran away. I guess we beat Flowey. What's gonna happen now? Undertale. Is this gonna loot the game? By Toby Fox. Is this the credits? Roll the credits. Yes. Chemi Mi Chang. Is this an actual person? Alright guys, well this is the end of the game apparently, so... I really like this game. It had a great soundtrack. It had a great story. And most games now don't have a story. You know, it's actually really good, even for its RPG style format. And all around, it, it was a really great game. I'm. Oh, wait. Ring, ring. Hey, uh, is anyone there? Well, I'll just leave a message. So, it's been a while. The Queen returned, and is now going over the overground. She's entrusted a new policy. All humans who fall down here will be treated not as enemies, but as friends. It's probably for the best, anyways. The human soul the King gathered seems to have disappeared. So, uh, that plan ain't happening anytime soon. But even though people are heartbroken over the King, and things are looking grim for our kingdom, the Queen's trying her best not to let us give up hope. So, uh, hey, if you're not giving up down here, don't give up wherever you are, okay? Who knows how long we'll take, but we will get out of here. Sans, who are you talking to? Oh, nobody. What? Nobody? Can I talk to them too? Here, knock yourself out. Wait a second. I recognize this number. Attention, human. I, the Great Papyrus. I am now captain of the Royal Guard. It's everything I've ever dreamed of. Except, instead of fighting, we just want, just, we just want water flowers. So that's ever so slightly different. And we're helping Dr. Alphys with her research. She's gonna find a way to get us out of here. Undyne is helping her too. Though, to be honest, her method of helping seems kind of explosion-inducing. 
I think Alphys likes you having her around. Uh oh. Hey, what are you up to? Huh? Yeah. Please don't nookie the nookie the phone. Hey, who's in charge here? Me. Oh yeah, that's right. I quit my job as leader of the Royal Guard. Actually, since we won't be fighting anymore, the Royal Guard totally disbanded. There's uh, only one member now, but he's extremely good. Yeah, he is. Come here. Please don't nookie the skeleton. Anyways, now I'm working as Alpha's Labs assistant. We're gonna find a way out of this dump and once and for all. Oh, yeah, and I'm a gym teacher at the Queen's New School. Did you know I could bench print seven children? Awesome, right? Hey, I'm sorry about what happened with Asgore. You were just doing what you had to. It's not your fault, he. Uh, darn it. I missed the big guy. Come on, I'm dying. It's not that good. Uh, I guess I'll tell you how Alphys is doing. Well, she's the same as ever. Maybe a little more re reclusive than normal. Seems like something's really bothering her. But she can get through it. I'm there supporting her. That's what friends are for, right? Hey, wherever you are, I hope it's better than here. It took a lot of sacrifice for you to get there. So, wherever you are, you have to try to be happy. For our sakes. We'll feel better knowing you're out of trouble. It was worth it, but we're all with you. Everyone is, even the queen. Hey, wait a second. Toriel, Toriel, do you wanna? Hey, she says she's busy. But she knew who we... but if she knew who we were talking to, we wouldn't get the phone back for at least a few hours. We have the emergency to spare you from her. But call back anytime, okay? She loves to talk. Oh, whoops. This thing's almost out of batteries. So, hate to cut this short, but be seeing you, okay, buddy? Bye bye for now. See ya, punk. So, where are we? Oh, it's Flower again. Why? Why did you let me go? Don't you realize that being nice just makes you get hurt? Look at yourself. You made all these great friends, but now you probably never see them again. Not to mention how they've been sent back by you. Hurts, doesn't it? If you had just gone through with caring without caring about anyone, you wouldn't have to feel bad now. So I don't get it. If you really did everything the right way, why did things still end up like this? Why? Is life really that unfair? Say, what if I told you I need someone to get you a better ending? You'd have to load your safe file in. Well, in the meantime, why don't you go and see Dr. Alphys? It seems like you could have been... have been better friends. Who knows? Maybe she's got the key to your happiness. See you soon. So the game's not over yet. Long ago, two races ruled over the earth. Yeah, Undertale. But damn. I didn't want to fight you. I didn't want to fight you. Ooh. So he said to go see Dr. Alpheus. I'll see what that is. know what could possibly change well, by going to see Dr. Alphys. I'm an idiot. Ooh, ring. Hey, uh, this is Undyne. Shut up, Papyrus. This was your idea. Human, you, ha you have to deliver something for me. Uh, please. I'm at Snowden in front of Papyrus's. See ya, punk. Alright, let's stop by Snowden real quick, and then go to, um, uh, uh, 
Torio. I mean, not Torio. Why did I say Torio? Um, so I have a favor to ask you. Uh, I need you to deliver this letter to Dr. Alphys. Huh? Why didn't I do it myself? Um, well, it's kind of personal, but we're friends, so I'll tell you. Heartland sucks. I don't want to have to go over there. So here you go. Yeah. Oh, and if you read it, I'll kill you. Thanks so much. You're the best. I'm the way. Unique letters written for Dr. Alphys. Now we're gonna do. Oh my god, I'm gonna freaking kill you. Okay, just wait till we're out of the vicinity. And then read it. Because with that much invasion of privacy is. Let's go to Hotland and then read it. Because she's not gonna she's not gonna go there. Alright, let's read it. I'm trying to open the letter, but it's been shut so tightly, you need to chainsaw in order to open it. Well, I know where there's a chainsaw, and that's... Up. Oh. The door has no mail slot. Besides the letter under it, no. But I want to open it. Is that another leather? I don't want to open it. God, can't I just slide it back out? No, I can't keep doing this. I, I'll read this one. Um, it's kind of shut, kind of strong, isn't it? Wait a second. Hey, if this is a joke, it's. Oh my God! Did you write this letter? It wasn't signed, so I have no idea who, who could have. Oh my God! Oh no! That's adorable. <laughs> I had no idea. Um, you wrote that way. It surprised me too. But all the after all the gross stuff I did, I don't told, I don't really deserve to be forgiven. Much less on this, and so passionately too. You know what? Okay, I'll do it. It's the least I can do to make it up to you. Yeah, yeah let's go on a date. Wait, what? Wrong person. Uh, sorry. I'm still getting dressed. Oh, what are you gonna dress in? <laughs> How do I look? My friends helped me pick out this dress. She's got a great sense of. Uh, let's, anyways, let's let's do this thing. Hey, hey wait! Actually, we still can't start the date yet. Uh, I've got to give you items to raise your affection statistics first. That'll increase the chance of successful outcome to the date, right? Anyways, don't worry, I'm prepared. I'll be, I've been stockpiling gifts in the Patriots for the first First, I've got some metal armor polish. Uh, maybe you can't use that, but I also brought some waterproof paint for your skin. Uh, yeah. uh, what about this magic spear repair kit that, uh... Hey, let's forget about the items. Let's just start the day. Yeah, let's, uh, date. Uh... Where's this dating hub? See? See, it's not working. Uh, do you like anime? Uh, yeah, I like anime. Hey, me too. Uh, hey, let's let's go somewhere. But where's a good place to go on a date? I've got it. Let's go to the garbage dump. This is literally how all my dates go. Do you like anime? That's that's the dividing question. If they say yes, we can go on a second date. If they say no, it's over. They, this is where Undyne and I come all the time. We find all sorts of great stuff here. <laughs> She's really uh. Oh no, that's her over there. I can't let her see me on a date with you. Why? Because uh, well, oh no, here she comes. Hey, there you are. Uh, I, I realize if you deliver that other thing, it might be a bad idea. So I'm gonna go. Do, I'm gonna do it. Give it to me. Huh? You don't have it. <laughs> uh, have you at least seen her? Yes. So she's around here somewhere. Thanks. I'll keep looking. Oh my God. Uh, it's always fun. Uh, I uh, really like her. I mean, more than I like other people. I'm sorry. I, I just figured, you know. 
it'd be fun to go on like a cute kind of pretend date with you to make you feel better. Well, it sounds even worse that when I put it like that. I'm sorry, I messed up again. Undyne's the person I um, really want to go on a date with, but I mean, she's way out of my league. Not that you aren't, um, cool, but Undyne, she's so confident and strong and funny. Yeah, I just a nobody. A fraud. I'm the worst scientist, but all I've ever done is hurt people. I've told her so many lies, she thinks I'm... She thinks I'm a lot cooler than I actually am. If she gets close to me, I'll shield. She'll find out the truth about me. What should I do? Tell her the truth. The truth? But if I tell her that, she'll hate me. Isn't it better this way? To live a lie where both people are happy? Or a truth where no, neither of them are? are yourself, but I don't really like who myself is. I'd rather just be whatever makes people like me. <laughs> No, you're right. Every day I'm scared. I'm scared what will happen to people learn the truth on their own. They'll all get hurt because of me. But how can I tell Undyne the tr truth? I don't have the confidence. I'm going to mess it up. How can I practice? Uh, let, uh, same options. Let's roleplay. Roleplay? That actually sounds kind of fun. Okay, which one of us will be Undyne? I'll be Undyne. All oh, right, obviously. <laughs> uh -huh. Hi, Undyne. How are you doing today? <laughs> Glad to hear it. Uh, uh, so I'd like to um, talk to you about something. What is it, Alphys? Um, you see, I... I... I haven't been exactly truthful with you. You see, I... Oh, forget it. I'm dying. I want to tell you how I feel. You're so brave and strong and nice. You always listen to me when I talk about nerdy stuff. You always do your best to make me feel special, like telling me that you'll beat up anyone that gets in my way. I'm dying. I can't take this any longer. I'm madly in love with you. Hold me, Undyne. <laughs> Hold me. What did you say? Nothing. Like a shadow, I disappear. Uh, Undyne, I was just... Hey, whoa, wait a second. Your outfit's really cute. What's the occasion? Wait a second. Are you two on a date? Uh, yes, I mean... Uh, no, I mean, we were, but... I mean, actually, we were only actually role-playing as you. What? I mean... I mean... I'm dying. I... I've been lying to you. What? what? About what? About what? Well, oh, sorry. I hit my mic. Everything. I told you that seaweed was, like, scientifically important, really. I was just... And those human history books I keep reading, those are just dorky comic books. And the history movies. Those... Those are just, uh... Anyway, they aren't real. And that time I told you I was busy with work on the phone. I was just eating frozen yogurt in my pajamas. At that time, my outfits. I, I just wanted to impress you. I just wanted you to think I was smart and cool. That I wasn't some nerdy loser. Outfits. I'm dying. I really think you're neat, okay? Outfits. Alphys, I think you're neat too, I guess. But you've got to realize, most of what you said really doesn't matter to me. I don't care if you watch kids' cartoon or reading history books. To me, all of that stuff is just nerdy crap. What I like about you is that you're passionate and analytical. It doesn't matter what it is, you care about it. 100% at maximum power. So, you don't have to lie up to me. I don't want you to have to lie to me anymore, to anyone anymore. Alphys, I want to help you become happy with who you are. And I know just the training you need to do that. And I knew... You're gonna train me? <laughs> what? Me? Oh, God. Nah, I'm gonna get the fires to do it. Get those bones shaking. It's time to jog 100 laps. 
hooting about how great we are. Ready? I'm about to start the timer. Uh, I'm dying. I'll do my best. Oh my god. She was kidding, right? Those cartoons, those comics. Well, they're still real, right? Anime's real, right? Just for the happiness. <laughs> I knew it. Gigantic swords, magical princesses. Here I come. Uh, thanks for taking care of Alphys. I didn't get to say what I wanted to, but things seem like they're going to get better for her. So, well, I gotta go catch up with them. Later. And then I get I get dropped back here. Well, that was like that was actually a, a cool. That was a cool thing to do. Now, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I have to defeat King Dreamer again or not. Uh, maybe I do. Oh, no. I got a phone call. Howdy. If it isn't my good friend who trusts me. This is Papyrus, your also mutual friend. Alphys and I fin finished our er training early. Very early. So I sent her home. Very home. Uh, now, I feel strongly, and for no re apparent reason, you should also go there. To her lab house. I have only good feelings about this. Goodbye. Click. Alright. I guess the game's gonna tell me when something... <sighs> when I have to do something. House still on fire. Can I check out on NASA look real quick? Uh, I'm gonna keep working on that. Okay, I can't. Nothing moving. What about this house? It's locked. Alright. Well, where was Alphys' house? Down here. Alright. Alphys is a lizard, so she can take the heat. Mm, that's why she stays here. And I'm still on camera. Alphys. Alphys. I can actually go in the bathroom. It's a note from Alphys. Read it? Yes. It's hard to read between because of the handwriting, but you try your best. Hey, thanks for your help back there. You guys, your support really means a lot to me. But as difficult as it is to say this, you guys alone can't magically wake, make my own problems go away. I want to be a better person. I don't want to be afraid anymore. And for that to happen, I have to be able to taste my own mistakes. I'm going to start doing that now. I want to be clear. This isn't anyone else's problem but mine, but if you don't ever hear from me again, uh, if you want to know the truth, enter the door to the north of the snow. You'll at all at least deserve to know what I did. Okay. Hello. Metatron is undergoing repairs. What's this? Okay, you gotta... Okay, let's, let's head inside and see what there is. To what it has, this door has to offer. Losing power. EM tether stability loss. Altitude dropping. And we crash to our fatal demise. <laughs> Not the mountain's work, it seems I've lost power. Ooh. Alright, what is this place? Entry number one. This is it. Time to do what the king has asked me to do. I will create the power to free us all. I will unleash the power of the soul. Entry number two. Um, the barrier is locked by soul power. Unfortunately, this power cannot be recreated artificially. Soul power can only be derived from what was once living. So, to create more... We will have to use what we have now. The souls of monsters. Engine number three. But extracting a soul from a living monster would require incredible power. Besides, being impractical, doing so would destroy instantly destroy the soul's host. And like the persistent souls of humans, the souls of most monsters disappear immediately upon death. If only I could make a monster soul last. Engine number five. A 
done it. Using the blueprints, I've extracted it from the I've accepted it from the human soul. I believe this is what gives their souls the strength to persist after death. The will to keep living, the resolve to change fate. Let's call this power determination. Mm. Oh. Alphys, what have you done? It's on the ground. You can't make it out at all. Oh. Elevator lost power into the center door. That's like can read. Power room. Am I gonna have to fight something? Why do I have to fight chips? I'd score asked everyone outside the city for monsters that have fallen down. Their bodies came in today. They're still comatose. Assume they're all turning to dust. But what happens if I inject determination into them? If their souls persist after they perish, then freedom might be closer than we all thought. She's testing on live monsters. Ah, comatose monsters. I can't go in there. Things are going well. None of the bodies have turned into dust, so I can't get the soul. I told the families that I would give them the back to dust for the funeral. People are staring to ask me what's happening. What do I do? It's some kind of operating table. It's, it's sticky with blood. Wait, no. Turn on the sink. Turn on the sink. Turn on the sink. Uh, uh, dog. Who? Blank through in here. This monster. Come join the fun. Man. This is not like fun. This looks like flowy. Memory. Never again. Do I have to? Do I have to fight those memory hats? No, on the ground you can't make it out. Um, drain dropped it. That's all you can read out. The red key fits perfectly into the slot. Okay. So I guess we need to collect three more keys for those the, the, the big door on the middle. Did it change? No, it's still six. Yeah, that one. Let's say. So we do have to buy some. I mean, we got to fight. Oh, that's good. That thing is happening. I don't know what to do. I'll just keep injecting everything with determination. I want this to work. One of the bodies opened its eyes. It's an empty dog food bowl. Seems like a comfortable bed. No. Okay, let's climb into the bed.
I literally just, I just lie on, I just, I just sleep on the bed. Everyone that had fallen down has woken up. They're all walking around and talking like nothing's wrong. I thought they were goners. The termination probably revived. Seems like this research was a dead end, but at least we got a happy ending out of it. I sent the souls back to Asgore, returned the vessel to his garden, and I called all of the families and told them everyone's alive. I'll send everyone back tomorrow. No, 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 no. Something must have happened. Oh no, I don't know. I don't. I don't want to know what that was. Damn it! Is that Cyrene? Special hell. Do you think I'm pretty? Damn this. I'm gonna continue till the game is over. What's this way? Now that Metaton made it big, he will never talk to me anymore. Except to ask when I'm gonna finish his body. But I'm afraid if I finish his body, he won't need me anymore. Then we'll never be friends again. Not to mention every time I just try to work on it, I just get really sweaty. Is that all these fans are for? Spaces between his legs looks like cats. Let this be over. Damn it! Damn it, damn it, damn it. Oh, this episode has already reached one hour. You know what? This is too much. I can't finish it in one more episode. So I'm gonna end this here. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. Um, you know what to do. So that's it for this episode. See you guys in the next one. Bye bye.